Hello there everyone, welcome to Howley Hall Golf Club. I'm Ryan Rastall, the equipment expert for golfshake.com and we're here in our fantastic performance center. Today we've got the brand new Glide 4 wedges from Ping to take a look at. But before we do that, please hit that subscribe button to see loads more content from all of us here at Golf Shake to help you play more and play better. Right, let's take a look at these. So the Glide series of wedges has been very popular through its different iterations that have been out through the last few years. Glide 4 is completely new. There are some differences in the technologies and also some of the shapes and sole designs available as well. So let's talk a little bit about the, the technology. So we've got these precision milled grooves on the face. Now um, they're, they're milled so that we get a bit more spin. Uh, the, the contact on the club face is obviously something that's very important when we're, when we're hitting wedges to get as much spin as possible. So the milling that's done on these is essential in that really and also the way that this weight cartridge has been put in the back there as well. So the Elastoma CTP insert that's in the back also helps to move the CG around in the head and also improves how much of the ball hits the face and how long it hits the face for to obviously impart more spin on the golf ball as well. It's an 8620 carbon steel body that we've got in this as well so it's going to feel really really nice when we hit those wedge shots but the biggest difference and what Ping have done in this line of wedges is change the groove pattern slightly from the gap wedges, so everything up to about 52 degrees, and then the scoring wedges, so you're kind of 54 and upwards. The groove patterns have changed slightly. Generally, in those lower lofted gap wedges, so 46 up to 52, we're gonna be hitting pretty full shots with most of those most of the time. So the grooves don't necessarily need to be quite as sharp as, say, a lob wedge does when we've got quite a short shot around the green. So they, those are, are slightly different in the way that the grooves are cut. So they're a bit more rounded. We're gonna get better flight control with those and still the same stop on the green that we'd expect. But with that more loft, what we're getting is a bit more spin because the grooves are that little bit sharper. We're gonna get, you know, on partial shots around the greens, you know, your 30, 40 yard little pitches and also little shots around the greens. We're gonna get more spin and a bit more control and stop on it as well. Now it's available in four different grinds this. So I've got three examples here. So I've got the S grind, which is a pretty square, little bit of heel relief in there, but it's a pretty, you know, normal, if you like, sold wedge, mid sort of bounce on there as well. I've got a 54 here, which is in the I2 shape, which some of you will absolutely love, some of you will not love, but it's a very, very popular shape and something that Ping asked for a hell of a lot. Now, these play with that slightly wider sole, that little scalloped out bit in the center there as well. So they're a really good option for that player who, who wants to use that sole a little bit more and use the bounce a little bit more. And I've also got the T-grind here, which is the, the slightly sharper, lower bounce version as well. So almost the tour grind, if you like. Um, we'll sit a little bit, get that leading edge a little bit tighter to the ground as well. But we also have the W grind available, which is wider, a little bit more bounce as well for that player who, who needs that little bit of help in there too. Now, in terms of shaft, we've got the ZZ115, which is um, a shaft that, that Ping make themselves. So it, it's 115 gram, obviously, and also a Lampkin grip in here. Now, most people prefer their own types of grip, but this one has been designed or designed specifically for wedges really. So you can see it's a little bit longer than some that we would have in, in an iron. And that's because a lot of wedge players tend to like to grip in different positions on the grip in order to change the distance that we're gonna hit certain shots. So this enables you to do that a little bit more. Now, we're gonna put these to the test in the performance center here, but certainly when we're talking about wedge technique and wanting to change the grip position and, and where we hold the golf club, that's obviously altering the length of the club and therefore the club head speed that we're able to generate. So we should be able to add and take away, you know, three, four yards just by gripping it in different positions. And we're certainly gonna try that when we hit them in here. And also we're gonna take them out onto the golf course and do a little bit of chipping around the greens out there and just see how they, how they react out there too. So 
Let's go hit a few now that you know all the technology and let me talk to you a little bit about what they look and feel like when we hit them here in the performance center. So I'm gonna start here with the 50 degree wedge S grind 12 bounce that I've got here in the Glide 4. Now, like I say, it's got the standard ZZ115 shaft in it, that lamp can grip, but these have all been built to my spec. So they're a little bit longer than standard, a little bit more upright as well. And this is something that's fantastic about when we work with Ping about doing club reviews, they will ask us what spec we want and literally send the product in that spec so that we can test it. And it's almost built to our specification for that as well. So let me try a few sort of full shots then. So we'll grip towards the top of the golf club and just try a few fullish sort of swings. So feels really nice off the face. Like I say, a full sort of 50 degree wedge for me would be around the 120 yards mark, which we can see 119 there, so pretty close. Let's just try a couple more. Again, they feel great off the face, really nice and, and soft and we can see a little bit of the golf ball is kind of being taken off by the grooves, so they're nice and sharp in there as well. These brand new grooves, these, so we'd expect them to be fairly uh, abrasive when we're hitting these shots. Let me just hit one more. Good. So again, pretty consistent in terms of the yardage, we're about three or four yards between each one. Now, like I said to you uh, when we were talking about the technology of these, this longer grip gives us that versatility of being able to play slightly different shots. So let me try one now where I'll grip in the middle of the grip. So what this is going to do is shorten the club a little bit and hopefully help us to limit some of the distance. So again, just by gripping down it two, three inches further down the grip, we've all, all of a sudden taken off about seven or eight yards on the total distance. So let's just hit another one. So same again. So we, we've gone from 120 yards with a full swing to now I'm gripping down it about that 113 to 115 mark. Let's just hit one more. Same again, 115, 116 yards we're getting out of that. So let's just then grip down the bottom of the grip. So even shorter that we're making this golf club. And we'll try a, a swing from there. So 111, that one's landed. A little bit thin, that one. Let's just hit another one. It's more like it. So I'd expect to see, yeah, 110 yards now. So we're kind of knocking five yards off each time just by gripping it in different positions. Now, like I say, when we go back to the top of the grip again, we should see that distance hopefully increase again. So yeah, 121 straight away. So, so yeah, gripping it in the different positions does make a difference to how far the ball goes. Now, obviously the, the other component in that is, is swing length. So depending on how you play your, your wedges, we can grip it in different positions and also alter the length of swing that we do as well. But let's try the 54 degree. So the 54 that I've got is in the I2 shape of the head. Now it's something that for me, it's not particularly the nicest looking golf club, but I know there's so many people out there that absolutely love these and swear by them. So let's have a bit of a hit with this. So we've got 54 degree wedge now. Again, it looks a little bit odd behind the ball, just because just it's something I'm not used to. Again, we're still getting that really nice feel off the face. And now with a 54, I would expect to be hitting this 105, 110 yards maximum, really. But certainly the, the feel is really, really good off there. We can, you, as you run your finger over the face, you can feel how kind of rough and abrasive that is. So it should give us that little bit of spin when we're, when we're hitting these shots. Again, very, very similar. So get 105, 107 yards really out of a full swing. But like I say, it might not be everyone's cup of tea looks wise, but we can certainly hear the sole interacting with the ground slightly different. Right, let's try the, the higher lofted one that we've got here. This now is the 60 degree 
in the T grind six bounce. So much lower bounce than the two that we've used so far. And we're expecting the leading edge of this just to get really tight into the ground. So let's just play a few little pitch shots here. Nothing too long, but certainly you can feel the, the face of the golf club actually gripping the golf ball. And I'll show you that in a second because it's actually just a one shot there. It's taken a bit of the cover off the golf ball. Like I say, they're just kind of pretty smooth pitch shots. Again, 60 degree wedge isn't something you should really be hitting full out swings with really. I mean, maximum probably 80, 85 yards is where I would hit mine generally, but certainly from the couple of shots that we've just hit, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's taking a little bit of the golf ball off with it as we're doing it. So that spin is going to be very, very high. And certainly when we're looking on the track man there, look, 11,200 RPM of spin, which is a lot really. And that's certainly more than I would get with the current 60 degree that I've got. So round the greens, we'd expect this to spin a hell of a lot. And certainly we're going to put that to the test. We're going to go out on the golf course, hit a few round the greens, and give you a little bit of feedback as to what we think when we try them out there. But you've seen now what, we, what we're seeing on the Trackman. We know this longer grip helps with the different pitching distances, which is a really good feature, I think, for these wedges to have. But I think they look great. They feel really good off the club face as well. But let's put them to the test out there. So, as typically happens, now that we've come in from the golf course, the weather's actually turned really, really nice. But as you could see when we were out there on the course, trying these wedges out, I've played them from a few different positions there on the 16th, just chucked some golf balls around, played them. But I've, I've actually played nine holes with these in the bag. And whilst I really like the full shots with the 50, and I quite like the really sharp, low bounce 60 around the greens, I just could not get used to the I2 shape, yeah, it's it's not for me, absolutely not. I, I think there's obviously so many people out there that love them and fair play, that, that's that's absolutely no problem with me. But, um, you know, we all have different preferences and things that we like to use when we're out on the golf course. But certainly from testing these, the feel was fantastic. And I wouldn't say it surprised me, but I kind of really liked how they felt out on the golf course. And I wasn't expecting them to feel so good, really. And particularly the, the shorter shots that we hit, we could see a couple there. There was a little pitch shot that I've just hit on the on the video that you'll have seen that spun really quickly when it hit the green there. And you know, that kind of 40, 50 yard little pitch that you're gonna hit, which sometimes we struggle to control and stop on the green. Certainly the grooves in these are helping us to do that. So they're definitely a wedge that you should try if you're looking for some new ones this season. And the fact that there's so many different grinds and and loft options and you know head shapes and things like that there's definitely a wedge in there that will suit every type of golfer so hopefully you've enjoyed that i've really loved getting out on the golf course and testing them but if you've got any questions as always please pop them in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to answer anything that you've got around wedges custom fitting whether it's uh, tuition or anything about your game please pop it in that comment section as well and we'll do our best to get back to all of you. So like I say, hopefully you've enjoyed that and we've got loads more content coming on the channel with all the new equipment to really help you play your best golf in 2022. Speak to you very, very soon.